Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. And today we are doing round one of the Kill Pete Open Tournament. It is the classic map, Fixed. Medium AI, Alliance is on, Fog off, Wizards off, Portals off. The first thing I'm going to do is make alliances with all of my human opponents. We have Piano Seeker, a master ranked player. Matuzak, an intermediate ranked player. General Rugaru, an expert ranked player. And Nutty Frog, a novice ranked player. My strategy to this game is going to be really easy. I am going all in on Europe this game. It's going to be very, very obvious I'm doing that. We'll move our troops out and just give white and green the thumbs up. So whoever wants South America, they know that I'm helping them out. But I like my start a lot, this game. This is a really good start. What I really like is that the bot is mostly positioned in Australia. This is going to be, they're not really positioned like around me. I can put my troops on the Ukraine and Southern Europe, and that should guard most of the areas that I have to focus on. If I can get a big continent early on, I'll be able to establish an advantage, build up my troops, and then make a big move to hopefully take out a bot or someone else and uh, get a lead. And hilariously, the bot makes the best human move possible. Remember guys, this is just a medium AI bot, so I have no idea what they're doing. All right, and is green gonna be hitting? Yeah, so it looks like green yeah, is gonna be fighting the white player for South America. That's where the conflict is going to be taking place. And we're just going to focus on continuing to place all of our troops down in Europe. This is a very good standard play right here. Two soldiers, I don't like that start. However, since none of my players are super like highly ranked, even given how many troops I have uh, right now, unless I like lose a lot of like my threes or like uh, pockets, I should be okay uh, as a whole. I don't like White's move placing troops here unless they're trying to move out of um, Europe. In which case, that's a good move for me. So the battle lines this game are purple will be owning Africa. Blue should be getting... Oh my god, really? Did the bot just place all of their troops there? I should have hit that. No, the bot moves out. Okay. And white got hit. White's in a bad spot right now. I do not like the white player's position, you guys. This is going to be quite challenging because this bot is not going to be going away. It's going to be quite powerful and a menace. Blue is leaving all of their troops inwards. So this is good. This is going to be giving me an opportunity to make value out of my three. Apologies, that was like another frame rape drop. So hopefully we'll be able to get a set on four, but we're above the 26 troop mark. Our three here in Central America is very safe. So we will just continue to prioritize getting uh, troops, building up. The only thing I dislike is that since I'm getting Europe, I'm going to have to defend against this strong bot. I haven't don't have much experience against medium AI, so they, I think they tend to attack more haphazardly. So you can't really predict as much with uh, what they will want to do. So while purple and I are strong right now, it is still a, um, a little bit of a risk as to what might happen. You see right here, like the boss just placing there. Like, I, I can't predict anything of what the um, the bot's doing right now and how they may want to attack. Like, now it's just hitting... Yeah, these are all just random attacks right now. And what is unfortunate about the Europe position here uh, with this bot is the fact that if I just, like, full defend against pink, if they hit one of my stacks, my game is ruined. It's more important for me 
to just be grouping my troops inwards and just keeping myself alive. Wait for another player to mess up with the bot hitting them, and then I can just capitalize on that. I'm in the middle of troops. I don't have a lot, uh, too many, but I don't have uh, an incredibly low amount either. Like blue and white are in the weakest positions overall. But we've successfully managed to move all of our troops together. Unfortunately, we got the worst card combination possible. Two sol soldiers and two horses on the first four cards. So there is a risk with us not having a set on four that if we just get a couple random attacks hitting us back and forth, we could be getting eliminated. This is unlikely though, because right now when I look at all like the major stacks, the 17 stack is not anywhere near pointed towards me to hit my main stack. Purple is grouped into two armies here, and they should be hitting the five now to be taking the content, or they're asking white to move. And the bot trades in. All right, this game just got interesting and uh, challenging. It, it means that I can't hold Europe now. I could have potentially hit the bot earlier, but I'm now in a situation where I'm just kind of forced to be trading cards for myself. All right, this game just became very, very boring. This is why I don't play with um, automated bots in my games. It, this is gonna just slow down and gunk up the game a disgusting amount right here. Like if it was a six player game, I just would have gotten um, Europe and I would have uh, been fine. Instead, uh, all that's going to happen now is there's just going to be a very, very long, long grind to Let's see what set we get on five. All right, we get the big set. And we're well spread out on 29 troops, so I don't see us getting eliminated. And we're surrounded a lot by bot all around us, so we are super safe right now. Once we trade in the set, things will stabilize, but uh, this is a game that's going to last like um, a long time. White moves into Europe to defuse tension. So I lose uh, some spots on the board, and now the risk is I'm losing my uh, ability to get cards easily. You can see right here I'm running out of ones to hit. I'm hoping green realizes that I need a card. It's hard for them to know what territory they want me to attack though. This is a very challenging thing for them to recognize. Yes. Good. Okay, green is good. What's green's rank? Nutty Frog? Novice. They did not play like a novice there. That was a hard thing to figure out. This bot, I should have hit the bot earlier, potentially. Maybe it would have just stuck more in Asia. Like I, I, but I, I just can't predict medium AI, AI bots and what they may decide to do. A lot of people are on five cards, by the way. A lot of people on five cards. So I do have a 12 set. Could I eliminate white here? 26 to take out 18. Yeah, no, we are just going to be getting a, um, a card because it's possible purple just kills us afterwards. And if white has a bad set, we could immediately just um, lose the game. So we'll just take things easy right now. We won't do anything crazy at all. Yeah, like White just had the um, the six set. So we only would have got six troops and lost about 20 there. If it was like a ladder game, I could do this. But with purple having a set on five, they would have like nearly a perfect line on me. I With this five here and like my only two up here, purple's rank is uh, expert. I think they would have killed me there. It's much better for me to be waiting for a better opportunity 
for the kill and not to be rushing anything right here. Uh, one shot. No, yeah, don't feel sorry about my uh, my uh, my GM tournament round two. Uh, I played bad, or not bad per se. I just played too risky, and I deserve to have lost. So they were good skill based settings, and I have nothing, no one to blame but myself for that. Like, uh, like this game is going to be taking a while. Yeah, this is my Kill Pete open game. Do you not read this my stream information? One shot, did you not look at the title of my stream? Round one of the Kill Pete Open? Mr. One Shot, what the frick? Oh wait, why did this not update? This did not update, why the hell did this not update? Wow, what the hell man? I just did round one of the Kill Pete Open. Why the heck was this not freaking update from before? Okay, now this is updating. Okay, One Shot, I'm a big dum-dum. So it looks like everyone's now started to get their continents, except for White and me. So we're going to move here, move into North America. North America has less pink bot. It's going to be a little bit easier for us to be getting cards. We'll have the 10 set. Yes, I, I don't know what White's doing. I mean, White does trade in. I mean, like, they're a little bit behind on troops, but at 40, like, nothing's going to be happening for a while. Uh, nothing is going to be happening for a, um, a long, long time. Yeah, so the bot will probably... It looks like my bot, the bot's moving towards and wants Continental and it wants Europe. It's hard to know exactly what the bot may or may not want. I do have to wonder... Um, is it worth it for me to be taking out the blue player? Blue player would- well, the, the blue player is a set. That's a big no-no right away. So if I go for the kill on blue, I have to attack an additional six tear troops in total. So I have 41 to take out 37. So you have 38. 37, 36, 34, 32, 31, 30, 29, 29, and 24. Hmm. Otherwise, I don't have a continent. So that's blue gone. We get the set. 41 troops. And now we have our continent. White is trapped behind a bot. They can get us. The purple player could potentially kill us, but it's a very, very challenging kill. And they would have to... It would be over 50 troops. Don't think that's worth it. You know that. Oh, and Maddie B 24 thank you so much for the follow. Like, we need a continent, man. Without a continent, we lose this game. So the only thing we have to worry about now is the purple player. Yeah, but these guys are all being passive as frick. So it was worth it. We got the kill. Uh, so who the heck did we kill? Piano Seeker. And green absolutely can't kill me. They're being super passive, leaving their 26 here. Now we get seven troops, plus the set. Jousty, boy, boy. Jousty. We're just now going to stabilize down for ourselves in Australia. Look, guys, we have 57 troops. We are on parity with the other players. We have a continent. Life's good. Life's super good. So it was absolutely fine for us to be killing... Wouldn't want to end up in continent. What the hell, Slurbo? You think I'm in continent? A man of my stature can handle anything in this world. I'm glad you're following, Maddie B. I'm glad you're enjoying things right now. It's just unfortunate that uh, a lot of lag right now. I'm seeing a lot of drop frames. Again, I can't do anything about that. My roommate wants to stream. They're going to be us. Or, or like pl play stuff on their, on their computer. They're going to do that. Yeah, but now we just wait for this pink bot to be hitting like a seven uh, or something. 
Like this seven of green is not long for this world. Wait, blue is... Why is green hitting all this stuff of mine? What? Okay, I guess I just wanted to group everything in. I'm still on uh, 50 troops. I still have nothing to worry about at all. Yeah, so I'll just um, make one little attack here. Just give them some love. We just gotta stabilize now. Like, at this point... White just needs to get a continent for themselves, but that's going to be taking some time. So White's like the weakest player. I'm a little bit weaker after that attack by Green hitting me, but again, at the end of the day, I'm super safe. That's just my style. I go high aggression, high octane plays. It does look like this position is uh, stabilizing... And soon, the white player will be able to get North America. Green's still getting six. But again, I have a 35 on Australia. Anyone that hits me just gets fourth in a bounty. None of these players are doing anything um, that's, like any, that's crazy or uh, dangerous in any way. I think that's no set on four for me again. No, I have a, okay, cannon set, that's good. So purple's the strongest person right now. Purple could be trying to take someone out if they wanted to. Uh, it looks like instead they're, are they gonna be taking out the pink bots? Okay. That's a good move. Well played. Very well played. Uh, so now pink... So basically purple used up their early game advantage. They got a continent for themselves. And they're doing fine. They're really doing fine now. So we're at fourth into bounty. So it means we get a minimum of like nine points. If we can just get one more bounty for ourselves, we can get third and two, which would also be a pretty solid store score. I would say in the end, this was, if you see right here, purple's like still almost leading in troops and have like a little bit of a card lead. I think purple made a good move there. I can't even see players' rankings. Like white's playing like a true intermediate. Interesting. So now green is asserting themselves onto potentially Europe. We'll keep stabilizing now, and we'll just make two attacks, get out of North America, and this will now give the white player the maximum flexibility to decide uh, what they want to do. But everybody's around 60 troops. And this is a mistake by white. They had a Free North America right there. That is an atrocious mistake. They need to swipe in and take that whole continent away. That is a massive, massive mistake. I cannot stress that was a really bad move by the white player there. When, the, and a, when there's four players left, the board naturally opens up. There's only ones here. No one's fighting you for North America, white player. You need to take it. Now the next thing, is green going to try to kill the white player? That would be the next possible thing that can happen in this game. If they just want to get like third and one, like they're lining up well for it. In case that's of interest to them. We have no set on three. But we're on 69 troops. And because we're playing with Discord people, we can use the dab. <laughs> <laughs> and now white has a set and green was crying a little bit because green was hoping to be killing um white and whoa white just smacked green what what 
What? No, no, no. That just feeds the game to the purple player. No, that's so risky. White just killed green. Oh, frick. Wow. Okay, now purple trades in. Purple actually has more tro almost as troops enough combined. If they take out white right now, they could potentially take this. So they should be trying to kill white right now. Yes, but they lost nine troops. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. This is going really well. I cannot believe uh, white just did that. So purple now will be killing the white player. They are a little low on time here. Um, they have to split off some troops to guarantee the attack is uh, successful. 13 uh, will be enough. But my 56 is going to be able to get the attacker's advantage to hit them everywhere. And that's going to help me get the lead over them. Okay. Three more territories. Two more. One more. <gasps> Holy shit! Hells yeah! Oh! Oh no! As long as I don't drop this game, I should be able to take this. These are bad dice, by the way, but I don't care. I got second, at least with two bounties. Yay. So now we get the trade in for ourselves, And we'll just prioritize attacking over the rest of the map. <sighs> Where the hell did all my troops go? Okay, that was just a bit of lag then. But holy cow. Holy cow, um, my opponents made a lot of mistakes right here, and as you guys can tell, my connection was not the best for this game, but I did not drop the frames. We are guaranteed to be having a set. We also have a huge territory lead and troop lead over the purple player. Our priority now is to attack as much as possible. We'll get our extra troops on the eastern United States, and let's try to clean this up. And good game, and well played! Let's go! This is Olive XC signing off.